Okay, so I ripped a ton of my lugs. So in this video, it's kind of gonna be a timeline of me fixing the problem throughout the year. So I lost my first video, so we'll see it. The lugs are already ripped and glued, but we'll show you what's going on. So I am just squeezing a bunch of this. Okay, so yeah, I'm just putting like a bunch of this on. Uh, I probably should like the smooth parts, maybe I'll scuff it up a little bit. Just take a little bit of sealing paper and Okay, I've already had two kind of as a little practice there. Let me see my clamps. Um, clamps are just holding it together. Anyway, so I'm just squeezing this on. I think what I'm gonna do is a couple of layers. So I'm getting in the crack and then I'm gonna come back and do some on the outside of it after this has had a little time to dry. Probably should have taken a little time and read the instructions. See how long it takes to dry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought it was worth trying. I mean, what's the worst that will happen? It won't work, right? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on the outside of this one. Okay. Is that three, four, five? Five lug. Oh man, I really messed this thing up. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> That's good. Oh, it's in like, I don't know how to take the pressure off this bottle, so I get a bunch in here, so I'm just gonna kinda grab this little tool that comes with it and scrape it off, you all bring it around. So Bad. I'm for sure not blaming the track. I put this thing through a lot. I think I did, anyways. I don't know. Probably guys out there doing more than me for sure, but I like to be like really nice and gentle to my stuff in the shop and then I get out on the mountain and just really, oh I didn't sand this one, well we'll see the difference and the third one down had I sanded a little bit Oh, wow, that one almost doesn't need a clamp. What I'm going to, well, yeah, it does a huge gap right there. Um, so this is going to be a pretty cool test. Because like, 100% this part of this lug will rip off. 
right? Like this will come down and it, this would, I would lose this lug. These ones up here, like this one, I'd lose that. That one, I would probably lose that. That one, I would lose that. So, I mean, we'll be able to see if it works. <laughs> clamp okay oops sorry all right so I just clamp this Clamp that. I'm gonna try to rotate it so it's up here a little bit. Sled's just in the back of my truck. Yeah. Sled's just in the back of my truck. So let's see. I need to do some mods to it. This sled. Okay. Bring it back over. It's gonna be loud. I just have my phone on the jack here. So we'll try cleaning this one up a little bit. I don't know how many rides we give it. Probably a few. To see if it works. <laughs> You said they have the Loctite stuff coming. So I'll try that out next. This doesn't really work. I'll try that out. Hopefully I didn't just mess it all up by putting in this on first. But probably should have left one like this one or something off. Okay, well. 2,000 years later. Okay, so you're probably seeing this all together, but quick update. I've been on two or three rides. This lug, the other lugs are holding up great with the glue. This one, which was torn through all the way back onto these um, ribs, was almost all the way ripped through. And it has come off a bit. So what I'm going to do is I am going to re-glue this lug um, again. So, um, sorry, I was pulling on the glue here. Um, I'm going to clean it up a little bit, uh, and then I'm going to re-glue it. I'm going to clamp it probably this way and this way, uh, and I'm going to try that again. 
because it has been holding like up here it's holding fairly well so I'm gonna try to still try to save this lug I mean I have some of the Loctite stuff but I cannot find it so I'm just again gonna use this E6000 I mean the other lugs are holding together perfect so um, and I haven't been riding easy so we'll try I think I'm probably gonna lose this one but originally I thought I was anyways so um, if I can hold it on for a little while longer that'd be cool um, and if not you know I lose it I lose it but it's only gonna be this little like quarter a little over quarter three quarters so I'm gonna glue it just dump a bunch in there clamp clamp and uh, let it sit so I'll show you that when it's done okay then we'll just throw this clamp on And I'll glue the other side of it in a minute here, but I'm gonna glue the back side of that guy there now. Okay, so now it's time to read the bottle and see how much Time it takes for it to dry. And then when you're done, you just take this off and put this cap on. Eventually. Okay, so update, this is all the same video. <laughs> I have been riding this sled for um, a few months, uh, well, since I've glued the lug. Okay, I did lose this lug, kind of like I thought. The other ones are still holding together, but I've had to glue them a few times. So, um, but they're still there, right? So if you just keep gluing them, I'm trying something different now. I'm spreading the glue out more, okay? And trying, I'm trying to get more glue on the inside of the crack. So. Yes, it's working. No, it's not. I mean, it's working. It's just, I don't think it's going to completely save it. I think this is eventually going to happen to all of them. But if I can prolong it, then that's great. So, um, one couple of things I've noticed. You do get a lot of glue that drips. So, I put towels down underneath. Um, or you could just do it back here and then it drips onto your floor. So, the glue does dry pretty fast. So, what I've... What I've been doing today is I put the glue on and then I take this little piece of cardboard right here and I've been spreading it and trying to get the, the bigger coverage, right? So um, I think it's working. I think it's a success so far. I will give you an update in a couple weeks when I know more. One eternity later. So this isn't like a one-time fix. Uh, as you've seen, I've kind of glued it throughout the year, but I've only lost part of one lug, and I don't know where that one is right now. But I've had to keep gluing it, and this one needs to be glued again, uh, as you can kind of see. So I just kind of pull off some of this glue. Yeah, so I just pull off this glue and uh, kind of clean it up for the, the new glue to go on. So you can see like, that's pretty ripped. So why pretty, did you pull off the glue? Just so I can get a better um, mating surface for the glue. So how many times throughout the season do you change these? Well, just as needed. Like, so why did this you one need down to... here doesn't need to be glued again. Okay. But like, you just see if they start like coming apart. So I spread it, and you know what? I might lose this one, uh, but might not. So. This is what I found that works best. Spread it apart, put some glue in the crack, okay? Um, I wear this glove, because now I just dump a bunch of glue on the outside of the crack. Can I see there? And then I just take it and spread it. So it gets like across the lug. So this one's got a crack down here too, so I'm gonna put some more down here. Um, 
something just happened that you have to watch out for. Glue will drip. So you don't want that on your stuff. Okay, so it's just down in here. So, and then I'm gonna spread it in here on the back side of here. Um, I will put a link for this glue. It's the E6000. Um, yeah, I've probably got. Where do you get it? Uh, I just get on Amazon. You can get it at parts at like a hardware store, craft store. Um, yeah, I'll put the link for this and on the, the Amazon link I got it from. Um, yeah, so you, you just kind of want to get that glue to spread. Because, like, see, that's what I did on this one down here. And it's, like, holding together really good. So, yeah, it's better than putting it, I mean, you don't have to put a new track on. Don't, right? So, the glove, spread it, get it in the crack. And then I do still. How long before you ride? Do you it's do like it? 24 hours is what the, the glue says it takes. Uh, I've done a couple of them where I've ridden sooner, but and then I just clamp this a little bit. Maybe I won't on this one. It's, I don't know. But yeah, I've got probably close to 50, probably about 50 rides on this sled this year. And uh, I don't know how early I ripped them. Pretty early in the season. And I've only lost, like I said, part of one. So it's just something you like check out and keep doing if you don't want to replace a track. So if you have any questions, let me know. But this has uh, been a pretty sweet fix, I think.